What's good, superstars? Back with another VV video. We got superstar Joe and we got superstar Rob in the house. How does it go? Superstar going Rob. Good. Oh man, this is going to be a great video. I can't wait for this one. No drop today, but huge, huge fireworks. Okay. Yeah. The market is just like volatility maximum right now. We uh, we pivoted on what we were going to talk about, I think, a little bit. And yeah. uh, it's okay. We had this we had this in the pipeline. Actually, uh, we'll get into how we got the idea. But for now, let's talk about the drop coming tomorrow, which is the X-Men, un Uncanny X-Men number 170, which is that iconic battle with uh, Storm and Callisto. And uh, they came out with the Medium article showing us that it's a typical drop, 30,000 yeah. mints. I'm not sure if they'll if they're gonna go back to that limited mint run. So I wonder yeah, how those how those limited mints will do uh, going forward. It's been a while since they've come out with one of them. Interesting. Yeah. They're making a lot of complaints, I think, right for the uh, for the uh, the hardness to getting a drop. So yeah, like they have thirty thousand mints. I'm still not winning any of these. Yeah, it's impossible. Like rebounds are your best bet at this point, and uh, even those are now yeah becoming a little bit tough. Everyone's learning the secrets. So yeah, um, these are the covers. We never really said what our favorite covers were. Um, well, which one's yours? I think I like the ultra rare, but uh, the rare I actually am. I don't mind. I like how Storm pops out. I think I said that yesterday. But the ultra yeah. rare looks really nice with the red background. I like that. Yeah, I, I agree too. I don't really like that cartoon, that cartoony look on the first one on the common. Yeah. So a little bit more realistic with the uh, little bit. You got yeah. a little bit more details there. So I think. If in terms of just pure visual, like these are sick. This one almost looks like a painted cover, like somebody painted it, like the Sistine Chapel kind of <laughs> style. Yeah, yeah. Um, but but yeah. Anyways, um, that's that's the drop tomorrow. Hopefully, some of you guys can get that. Let us know if you do get it. Love to hear when you guys have success. Um, so, anyways, that was the uh, basically all there was all day, and uh, then we got this. Dun dun dun. Golden Huge. moment return, guys. Oh my, I was like, oh my god, what is going on? Exactly. It's That's finally returned. This is the reaction that we all made <laughs> because a lot of us have not been, we're not here for the golden moments. I joined during that week. Yeah. So I think Good since week then, to join. I think since then there's been like a million people join the app, which is crazy. So a uh, lot of people have heard about the hype. Yeah, if it was November, it was November of last year, right? Yeah. So yeah, it's been it's been about a million more people now. They were probably at around a million at that time, maybe nine hundred. Yeah. So that is crazy. crazy. When 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 I saw this, I was like, oh my god! I got some text messages from friends, like, what's going on? The market's dumping. The yeah. market's dumping. If you guys haven't looked at your at your value of your vault, don't look. Don't look at it at all because uh, we got a big old fashioned gem squeeze happening right now. This is the um, definition of one right now. Because these are going to be, I can't, I can see these being a couple thousand. Yeah. Is that too crazy? Is that crazy to say? I think so. I think, uh, I think off the bat for sure. It will, I think that they might start out kind of like Killer Croc, but they got FAs and the, like, okay, we didn't even go through the tweet. It's Valentine's Day for two collectibles. So it's like a classic golden moments. Back in the day, they would drop two at a time. Yeah. Um, and one of them is Donald Duck and Daisy Duck. And we know from the last article that they posted about the FEFA that this is going to be a double FA. Uh, Donald Duck and Daisy Duck are getting FAs on this. Crazy over Daisy. That's going to be huge. I can see this easily being over 2K. Uh, Lady and the Tramp on this Bella Note. I think it will depend on which one is more scarce. Uh, I can see her. I can see this one being over a thousand, maybe 1,200. Uh, but it will depend on the on the on the mint number. I mean, if it's well, similar to what they had previously, like ten thousand and yeah, eight thousands, six thousand. They don't they don't yeah. go that scarce with these. Like if you yeah. look at the mint numbers, we'll talk, as we go through them, we'll talk about some of the mint numbers. But I'm assuming they're gonna put at least six thousand for these. Uh, no, they have to. They have to. I mean, uh, maybe. Uh, who knows? It doesn't say anything about it being really, really rare or extremely rare. So that's always a good sign for people who are looking to try and win one. I know a lot of people on the original drop were grabbing them on the rebound. Uh, I don't know how now how that's going to go. But again, and it will all depend. The prices will all depend on how many are released, obviously. But uh, there's obviously been people preparing to buy them in the secondary market. Yeah. Selling off a bunch of good stuff right now. And it's getting me thinking, like, maybe I push this down the road and I go into some of the things that are selling for super cheap right now that I know will probably go back up after – 
this gem squeeze event. I mean, if they, they, there's still a lot of time between now and Monday and they could announce more things that will attribute to the gem squeeze. So you don't know where the bottom is. Um, but maybe this is something I can pick up later and flip something else, make a couple hundred gems and then, uh, just kind of play the market that way. I'm starting to think maybe that's a new strategy I'm going to try and employ. Just play I, these I think it's a good idea, though, because you have people right now freeing up a lot of gems. Like, let's say you compare it to the Mickey hat, right? Mickey yeah. hat was 6,333 mints, and it's trading at $4,450. So you're at four grand right there. I mean, even if we go to Wally, right? Wally, 10,000 mints, and he's trading at like 1590. Yeah, like, like, you need to free up. Like, seriously, if you just need yeah. to. To, to just go in the secondary market, secondary market, pick it up right away. You need, I think, two thousand might even be too low. I could be right. wrong for for the Donald Duck and the Daisy Duck. It could be close to four, and we just use the the sorcerer hat as a as a or the Mickey hat as a yeah. comparable. Now that you're now that you're mentioning that, and it's two FAs, it, it might be higher than that. It might be um, it, it might be higher than that. So people are freeing up crazy yeah. amount of gems right I now. I think I think that's kind of a difficult way to play this though. Um, I think unless you get it right away or there's somebody miss miss I, I think people are smarter than they were back in the day um, now people yeah. know what things go for they have comparables when this first dropped nobody had comparables there was there was yeah. else's out there for 300 I remember those dates like it was crazy even when Walt dropped I think he was like he started out at like 300 3000 maybe I can't remember but it was like it's crazy it's crazy how these things have moved since time um but anyways, should we get into the big uh, the big thing here? Yeah. So we want to thank um, YouTube commenter, superstar YouTube commenter, who, who who's commented on many of our videos. And he made a comment 10 hours ago. And he said, would you consider making a video on the Disney golden moments and rating them all in terms of potential from smallest to biggest? And we said, yeah, totally. We can we can do it for you. And uh, he said he would love to know our opinions and and where they're going to go in the future. So, um, I mean, really, really, you know, good timing on the tweet. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> because the very next day, you know, we we got this announcement. It's a great segue right into it. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, let's let's go over these. We'll do our best, and and definitely, you guys in the comments, if you if you agree, disagree, let us know below, and we'll have a conversation about it. Yeah, I'm sure you guys are going to disagree. You guys love letting us know when you disagree in the comments. Superstar yeah. Liam, I'm looking at you over there. Okay, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah. I don't know. I think that case is not closed on the lenticular cards, but we'll get back to oh, it. We no, haven't it, seen that. We haven't we seen got, that. Go check so out many... the last video. <laughs> yeah, check out, just check out the last video. Check yeah. the last video. Uh, so I think we might be the first that are going to be including the new ones. Uh, we're going to be speculating on this. Obviously, we don't know the mint numbers, but uh, yeah. we also haven't discussed this. I think we kind of have the same top end here yeah but uh i don't this know gonna I, I, we're gonna this figure gonna it out as we go. Yeah. and we're gonna we're gonna battle it out and place them we're gonna have to settle on a ranking that we agree with yeah i think that's that's the point here so this could get a little bit long but uh stick with us and we'll figure it out so okay so i'm gonna start and by things, saying there's, things there's can five... move around things can yeah. move around though okay so like if we move if we put in a b and then we're like uh, you know what we can move it to a c so don't 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 feel stuck to it right okay all right, so let's what let's do it. We'll start in the order of how they came out, right? Which yeah, is, I'm uh, not sure if this is the exact order, but I know that Bart was first and Walt was last. So whatever in between here, <laughs> I put the pairs together. We'll see. You guys will let us know. But uh, okay. I think I'm pretty close. So Homer and Bart, twelve thousand three hundred and thirty three editions. It okay. came out on November seventh, twenty twenty one, and the current price is two thousand one hundred and seventy nine per Okomi Wiki. Hmm. what do you think i think that the simpsons is a great brand i think that maybe it's not amazingly suited to be branded as a disney collectible um yeah. i feel like they could have just branded this simpson i know disney wants their name on it but i think because of that it kind of takes away from maybe where it could have been and i feel like Simpsons are, are elite. This is obviously a double FA statue. So this is, I think Donald and Daisy are obviously going to be, uh, I mean, a little bit more popular, but the Simpsons have been long, long running, but their price movement has proven that maybe, maybe they're not the elite of the elite. So I, I think in, since I have four, five tiers here, I might throw them into, I want to say like late B, early C, somewhere there. I, I agree with you. 
completely, but there's a couple things going for this. It was the mm-hmm. first, and ah, yeah. some argue that it was the first battle scene. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's true. That is true. I agree with that. First the battle first scene. Battle scene. Sure. So I agree with you. I, I'm having trouble. Can we just kind of put it between the B and the C right now? Like, sure. And then, and then, like, mm-hmm. I, I, in a way, I want to give it a B just because it was came out so early but it could i could see it also being a c too i'll put it here i'll put it like late b and yeah we might, we might fill it in here okay all right okay now the skateboard all right skateboard we got i think six, yeah sorry, sorry go, ahead. go ahead you give you give the details and we'll go through yeah it. so it's it's a rare six thousand three hundred and thirty three mints came out november 7th and it is at one thousand seven hundred and ninety nine dollars gems so pr- Price action says that this is worse than the Bart and Homer, which I agree. Makes sense. Less less additions, scarcity. Maybe down the line, scarcity starts to matter, but I don't think it matters right now. Um, honestly, I, I might have to say this is like late C, early D for me. Yeah, like based on what's left, like what, everything that's there, I would, I would even put it as a D at this point. I, I think I agree with you. And it is rare. It's a rare, which is, uh, it has that going for it. So it might be like an early D, but uh, I think that the fact that it's getting the change from FA to FE, it's, I think FE, even though they're saying it's the same weight, I think that FEs are going to have a hard time competing with FAs. I think just because everybody's been trained on the FA for so long. I know FE's been around for art, artistic pieces, but when it comes to collectibles, people might look at the, they might look at the Todd and they might look at those Batmans and say, okay, these ones aren't as good as the Todd or these ones aren't as important as the Todd and they got the FE. So maybe the skateboard is not as important as other FAs. That might be something that happens, but also the price action is proving that this is not that well valued right now. So yeah. we'll yeah. keep them in the D. I agree with you. Okay. All right. Let's keep them there. And uh, yeah, I know I, I, all I'm going to say is that he's a, it's a skateboard and I think there's way better ones out there. Yeah. Obviously he, compared to other, collectibles on the app sure it's great but compared to the other golden moments yeah like there's no it, attachment i i, I wouldn't yeah. even thought that that would have been a, a golden moment if you told me pick two things from the simpsons to be a golden moment i would never say the skateboard yeah. never never yeah so here okay. we got elsa so elsa it's a common Twelve thousand three hundred and thirty three of them we all know how popular she is she came out november 8th mm-hmm. day after and she's at four thousand two hundred and forty gems what do you think? And, uh, this one here just recently was flying. I think it even cracked 5K uh, for a little bit there. And then we got hit by this gem squeeze. But that's pretty, it's holding up pretty well then, I guess. It's only 4,000, some 3,300. A lot of yeah. things are taking like 20, 30% haircuts. And uh, I guess this one almost at 20%. But uh, I, I really, really liked Elsa. I think, uh, I think it's... <laughs> It's going to be one of the best long-term holds. It's one of the biggest file sizes. There's all these rumors that it might have some other thing to it. I don't know if I honestly believe that. Um, I have an Elsa, so I'm speaking from experience. It's one of the ones that I actually flipped into. I flipped an Avengers logo for the Elsa uh, back at the beginning when I, when they were like under a thousand each, um, and they were closer in price. So it was a good move long term. Um, I think that Elsa is one of the most detailed golden moments. If you ever were to look at it in the showroom, you zoom in on the on the dress. It's got such detail, and it's the first Disney princess that has to hold some weight. For yeah. me, this is this is a tier, borderline superstar tier. But I, I think I'm going to keep it a tier. Yeah, we know how like Frozen completely took over Disney mm-hmm. World and 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 all Disney fans. We know how popular that is, and. I don't think there's like other than like Olaf, I'm not really sure there's any more popular characters in that series to compete yeah. with her. So she may it, it may not be one of those things where in the future if they if there's more that come out, some people might choose to sell her over someone else. Yeah. I, I would I have I think I'd put her at an A. I think she's an A. I wouldn't give her the S, but because because she's not a yet. common, she's a common, right? Yep. But I think she deserves the A for sure. Okay, so we're on the same page here. Next, we got right. a controversial one. Oh Ooh. man, the, Let's see the if I can Mickey bring this hat. Forward. There you go. I'll I'll never forget the Mickey hat when we made a video and we we just said it's just a hat, and we had a commenter I don't remember who it was that's like, no, it is not a hat, it's a character. And then VV called it not a character. He gave they, they gave it, it, it an FE. They're giving it an FE. They're downgrading they're it from it an FE. To FE. 
but it is a character which is very controversial and uh, controversial we, again we agree with whoever that was that commented back in the day uh it does have its own personality in some of the yeah. shows right um, yeah so first uh, it's a rare it's a rare 6,333 mints came on November 8th, same as Elsa, and 4,450. Sorry, go ahead. So I think I think because it has the low mint, it does have that going for it. I do think, though, that when this first came out, it definitely had a lot more hype than yeah. uh, anything else. It was technically the first Mickey-related item uh, to drop. It was... The, it came out in the animation studios and people were treating this like Mickey's first appearance pretty much like that's how it was being treated. It was yeah, like, a, it was a real item that. when it first came out. But yeah. now that there's all these things that have come out Mickey related, you got lenticular cards, you got steamboat Willie, you got Walt and, and uh, Mickey. Now you're getting some more golden moments coming. I think this one is kind of coming back down to earth. And uh, what did we have on B before we had Homer and Bart? I still, I still think because it's Disney, it should be higher value than Homer and Bart. Yeah. But I think it's not on the same level as Elsa. So I think it would no, put it's it not. in B ahead of ahead of Homer and I Bart. I agree. I agree. Let's give it let's give that one a B. We'll keep Bart floating around and, and Homer floating around over there. Let him fight it out. We'll, yeah, fight now, it out we'll, for the... we'll put it we'll put it here. And then yeah. It, it, it's I'll a move. B. I think it's fair. I think it's fair. For now it's like this. Okay? No. Iron Man. All right. Iron Man. Iron Man, he is a he is a common twelve thousand three hundred and thirty three mints. November tenth, he came out, and uh, his price right now is two thousand eight hundred and ninety eight. It looks like so. Uh, yeah. yeah. Okay, so it's a common, but it's also a very popular superhero. We've seen what the other superheroes have done on the app. The one thing I really like about the Iron Man statue is that there's not five varieties. It's like one of very few. I don't know if people talk about this that much, but one of, I think it might be the only Marvel superhero to drop with only one variety. I mean, I, you got Captain America five, like common, you know what I mean? There's so many. How many mints was there again for Iron Man? Uh, let me pull it up right now. He was at 12,333 mints. Okay, so a decent amount of mints. But when you compare that to the overall number of mints for any of the other Marvel superheroes, I think uh, I think this guy is super slept on. I think right now, what's his price? Did you? I think you mentioned it. He, I think he went up. So because the information I have is lagged, it says 2,800. But then if you go into the charts, it says 3,000. Let's just call it 3,000. Okay, it, 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 right now is a hard time because there's a gem squeeze happening. It could be one, it could be 15. Who knows right now what's going yeah. on in the market? We'll, just, we'll say 2,800, three rand. Regardless, I think that Iron Man, just because, like I said, he's the only, the only superhero in the Marvel Universe that I know of offhand that has one edition. Like, it looks only like this. There's no, there's no, like, Deadpool even had multiple editions. Uh even Spider-Man. Spider-Man, there's five, plus there's Ben Riley's, plus there's Marvel Mighties now. There's not even a Marvel Mighty of, of Iron Man. This is the only Iron Man right now. And I'm sure there will be more to come, but this will always be the FA and it will always be the only version. And I think that's going to carry a lot of weight going forward. For me, this is A tier. Interesting. And we can't, we can't, we got to give Iron Man the respect he deserves. We all know what he did to Thanos. So uh, we got to, we got to yeah, no give spoilers. him. Spoilers. <laughs> okay all right so no spoilers so uh yeah it, i find this one a tough one as well like i'm almost tempted personally to give him a b yeah. just because of uh, of what else is out there um if you, you know what i could see that too because i don't think you know what he is the reason i said a is because i think it's better than the hat but i could see it being a b tier ahead of the hat and maybe even dropping that part down to C, but we'll see what what else comes. Um, I think I think we're gonna do it because there's a lot there's a lot more coming that I really like. So not okay. to mention the two new ones. So, so I think you think to, this is ahead of the hat or behind the hat though? That's, I, I I would definitely buy Iron Man before the hat. Okay, so we're gonna do. I agree with you. I I think we agree with the placement. It's after Elsa before the hat. Yeah, I'm okay putting a B tier. I think long term, this one's gonna pop. I think it's just right now, it, there's got to be more Iron Man. There's got to be, let the app develop a little bit. This is one that I'm eyeing in the market. Don't take yeah. cheap ones. Let me have the cheap ones. Okay. okay. Uh, next, Avengers logo. I won this on the drop. This is my first ever, my first ever drop victory. This is when I joined the app. 
it was the Avengers Iron Man drop, and uh, I ended up getting the Avengers logo. Super, super stoked because it was rare. I'm like, oh, this is amazing. It's I had no idea, right? Now you see where it is, and uh, I'm sure go over the details. Yeah, I mean that's fantastic. You want another drop? Always happy when a superstar wins a drop. So, Avengers logo, six thousand three hundred and thirty-three mints. It's a rare. Um, it came out November tenth, and it looks like right now I think it's hitting. I'm gonna have to look this one up again. Twenty one hundred. Yeah. Twenty one hundred. So. Okay. So we'll the cool that. thing, the cool thing about the Avengers logo was that if you put it in your showroom and you like blow it up where the base kind of goes under the floor. I don't know if you ever done that, but nope. it looks like a, a really cool emblem. You can like put it on the entrance to your showroom or on one of the walls. Very cool artwork if you ever were to have like a VV verse house or something like that. But to me, that's where the utility ends. It's uh, it's just a logo to me. I don't really have any. I don't know. I'm sure there's a lot of Avengers fans out there that are, are cringing, but I don't really have a connection to the logo. No, neither do I. I'm more of a character type of guy. Uh, By the way, he I, tanked a bit. Sorry, he's at 1700. Just I just did the most that? recent update. Iron Man? No, the Avengers logo. Well, Avengers logo. Okay, so for me, I, I have a Avengers logo ahead of the skateboard. Yep. But it, it might be D tier for me. Okay. All right. What about you? I'm willing to I'm willing to give it the C, but I like depending on how the rest fall, I can see it going. I'm still willing to give it a C though, for now. Okay, let's give it might... let's give it the C. I do think it's better than the skateboard, and yeah. we don't have anything in C right now, so we we'll see how the rest goes. Let's put it there. But I'm I'm willing to do that that trade off. Okay. Okay, Wally. 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 All right, Wally. We're looking at uh, ten thousand three hundred and thirty three mints. It's an uncommon. Yeah. came out November 9th, actually. So that one came out before the, the a couple of the other ones that we did. Um, and it's currently at 1,590 gems. Yeah. So, I think... I, uh, this I don't know. One he's, here, not, he's not the best character. These ones here, this one here, for whatever reason, gets the most shade. It's that, it's a character, though. It's an uncommon. I think that's where they kind of messed up. Maybe they should have made this a, a little bit more scarce uh, to give him the value that he is. But it's Pixar. It's not Disney. But... The one thing that we have been learning about these Pixar releases over time is that these two are Easter eggs in a bunch of other movies. So if you watch like different movies, I'm not sure which ones exactly, but I think Toy Story has Wally in the background on one of them or something like that. And oh, then, yeah? like, the Pizza Planet truck is in a bunch of other ones. So that'll be the next one that we talk about. Yeah, but true. Yeah. True. I, I think Wally's better than the Avengers logo. I think I know the price doesn't say because he's rare, but I like care. I'm a character guy, and I think that. For me, I would put it C tier ahead of Avengers logo. What do you think? Yeah, I, I don't know. I don't like him as much. I think I agree with you. I'd put him in the C tier because he's a character, but I'd still put the Avengers. Like, if I had to pick one yeah. because I'm more familiar with Avengers, I would go with the Avengers, but that's probably just me. So if I had to pick, I still wouldn't pick the Wally. I'd pick the Avengers logo. Okay. Uh, I know that the market, you know what, we'll give this one to the market and people are willing to spend more money for the Avengers logo. Let's leave Wally at C. I kind of like the detail on the Wally way more and I think that it's a, it's a, a nicer looking uh, NFT for sure. Yeah. But uh, and it's a character. Know, for me, the Avengers logo, I, I kind of like to see Wally ahead of it, but, but I, can, I, can, I can see where you're going. Maybe they're pretty equal then. Yeah, uh, for, it's for me. It's, it comes down to familiarity. I just I'm more familiar with the Avengers yeah. brand, so that's why I, I guess think the, different people have different opinions on that because Avengers sure. is like more 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 of a a newer thing, I think, or maybe yeah. like it's a bigger it's a bigger uh, it's a bigger audience audience way bigger for Avengers, audience yeah. for sure. Uh, then you got the Pizza Planet truck. I I think this is rarer than it's rarer than the the Wally. So it's uh, rare. It's, it's six thousand. Same Sorry? thing to me. It's the same thing to me as Wally. But go ahead with the numbers. Let's hear it. Yeah, I would say it's a rare. It's six thousand three hundred and thirty mints. Uh, it actually came out November 9th, so we mixed that one up. That's okay. Okay. One thousand eight hundred and forty. Okay. So it's one thousand eight hundred and forty, and Wally is what? One thousand nine hundred. Uh, yeah. Wally is. We got one thousand five hundred and ninety. Okay. For Wally. So maybe we put this this one between the two i mean all three of these to me well it's way more scarce though right the pizza yeah, truck has, I think you, give has the, you give the scarcity do you even put it ahead of the avengers logo or no no i still wouldn't i i don't like the pizza truck either 
I don't like it either. I'd still buy the Avengers logo before. The I think just based on IP, you give it to the Avengers logo if anything. Yeah. But I think that these two look nicer than the Avengers logo. Yeah. Like if I was gonna, no if, for me, if I was going to try and show something off, I, I wouldn't want to show off a logo. Yeah. I want to show off one of these two. That's why I kind of wanted the Avengers logo a little lower, but uh, yeah. I don't really care, to be honest. So. Yeah. We might have to uh, we might have to shift things around with depending on yeah. if we want to give D a little bit more uh, a little bit more beef yeah. we'll to, at the end when we see how these things fall how we gotta okay. move things around. Well, we got another big guy here. We got C three PO. So C three PO, and this is the thing. There's not that much Star Wars out there. So he has twelve thousand three hundred thirty three minutes. He's a common. He came out November eleven, and he's currently four thousand one hundred and eighty. Yeah. So like personally and i like star wars but i think both c3po and r2d2 are a little bit inflated because they're the only star wars i think available on the app but so they're the first they're the first and they're gotta, the first you got to give them value for that they're the first and star wars is like the one of the biggest cult followings of all time right so understood so if but if more golden moments come out that are star wars themed i think this will eventually long term yeah. maybe push c3po down on this tier list but right now for me he's a walk in a yeah i would say walk. so i would say c3po is after elsa but uh i would say a tier still i mean i think he's making i think actually maybe it could be before elsa i'm trying to think here star wars is a bigger no well, maybe not bigger the thing that that kills me with Elsa is that we know there's women of Evie. Don't get me wrong, but we do know that the split is more males than females right now on the app. I'm sure that it's going to grow. the The ratio will get a lot closer. But even just based off our viewers, we have like 90% male, 10% female. It's just an interest thing, I guess. I'm not sure if the females aren't interested as much, but there are. They are out there. We know they are. We've talked to them. Um, I just I just find it amazing that Elsa is doing what it's doing with this majority male audience. So imagine when the women of Vivi grow and uh, come onto the app. I think the potential for Elsa is ridiculous. Yeah. First ever female print or first ever princess on uh, from Disney. I, that's why I think it has more potential, and I think that's what this ranking is. And well, there's uh, also a lot of like 10, 12 year old kids. Yeah, like, like when this first came out kids were like that love this were kind of like around 10 years old obviously some younger some older yeah one day they're gonna grow and they're gonna be able to, to buy nfts too they might look back and be like oh my god i loved frozen so yeah. i want to go and oh, you know they're gonna do that long so, long long term but anyways i get i'm gonna point. i'm gonna put it here only because i gave you up a wally and the pizza truck to the avengers logo <laughs> yeah Okay, okay, so so you agree then that that uh, that he's at least an A, but you oh, think yeah. that Elsa no, is up beyond Elsa. I just think that. Elsa has that next level potential, which why I want it there. I think right now the price might say C three PO, but I think Elsa has that potential audience that hasn't found Vivi yet that can push it above and beyond. Okay, all right. R two D two. R two D two. This guy is a gem. Uncommon. Eight thousand three hundred and thirty three mints. November eleventh, it came out currently trading at 8700 gems another drop day win for me unbelievable <laughs> this one was a luck, luck of the draw my second ever <laughs> pur purchase on the vv app through the store r2d2 still in my collection and uh i'm very biased so i think you know where i'm putting them um uh, but i'll let you i'll let you talk well like the thing with with again i, I still think that both r2d2 and C3PO, when if more golden moments that are Star Wars come out, it could push these down the rank. But R2D2 is like a really well loved character. He's not like the most popular of all time, yeah, but he is you know really that. popular. So I, I I still think he he can be given an A at the top end of the spectrum above all of them. It depends how picky you want to be with the S, but he's definitely worthy of that S spot as well. I think I think I agree with you. I think it's a it's it's number one out of what we've shown so far. I think uh, to say the thing that I learned today, and this is maybe why I might stick my neck out and throw it into this the S tier, is I'm not sure if it's confirmed, but I saw a tweet that said that R2D2's market cap passed Walt's market cap today. Interesting. Okay. Which if that's the case, that shows the the Star Wars power. If that's not true, don't get mad. 
it's just something that I read and somebody could have been capping. But, but, uh, but there's also not other options for yeah, people. You're right. So you're right. It would it would dilute it if, you, if other things were to come out. And so well, that would happen. So right now I'm fine giving it the S. But I think there's a chance that if there's more Star Wars. I think, no, I think you're right. Wrong. I think that I think it should be high and A because you, you convinced me. Because if, uh, if more Star Wars stuff comes out, it's going to take a piece of the R2-D2 pie. Whereas with the Walt, I'm just going to bring it straight there. <laughs> yeah <laughs> we yeah. know that there's probably not much that could come out to eat that market cap no uh, there's not because i so, like I, off the top of my head like i can already think of just there's a few characters at least that yeah. if if they came out i'm selling that r2d2 to go which i don't oh. have but you do to go get that one instead uh um, yeah, vader or luke skywalker or those guys come sure. out, it's gonna be it's gonna be blood but even obi-wan kenobi um okay which the new movie's coming out so that's actually a possibility yeah. so, anyways we don't know the mints we don't know the rarity. Uh, let's assume. Let's assume equal yeah, mints. Let's say. Let's say six, seven thousand mints. Actually, let's say ten thousand mints. Be safe. Okay. We'll say ten thousand mints for both. Um, even though it won't be, we'll go with yeah. Lady in the Tramp. Double FA again, right? You got the Lady yeah. and the Tramp. Um, where are you putting this? Yeah, this is tough. Like this, this, this video is actually harder than I thought to to rank them. Even though they're all amazing, right? They're just all mm -hmm. so amazing. Where do you put them? I think this one can go between B and C. I think um, so too. That's that's where I was looking right after Barton Homer. Yeah, this one could go between B and yeah. C, just because it's lady. Like there, I mean, there's lots of Disney fans out there. It's just it's not the most popular character with the greatest yeah. fan base, but. It's I'm sure it's, gonna core. Do well. it's not the core, the core characters from Disney, which will give it a hit, of course. And I think everything above here is maybe yeah. a bigger audience. Uh, yeah. So I, I think that's where it should go. I, down yeah. here, I think I still think they're whatever. Everything can kind of move around. I still think the skateboard is the worst, but I think yeah. over here, whatever order you put it in, I don't think you're losing. This is the rarest one. So it makes sense to put it at the front. The more I think about it, then uh, I think this is, they might have the same. I'm not sure. Yeah. But this one here, that's I easy. would love, I would love to get this. I would love to get this. So, this is a clean double A. FA. Double FA. This I is think, a clean A. I think I, I'm having trouble where to put this on the A tier. I think, I think it should go ahead of uh, ahead of R two D two. But you're you're getting a two think, for one deal. I think that's that's the reason. But I'm not sure when it will go ahead of R two D two. You know what I mean? Like, is it gonna yeah. take? How long will it take? I think in terms of what, how much I want it, I would want it more than R2-D2. But I think it goes ahead of Elsa because it's a core double. I, I don't know. I don't know if it goes here or if it goes here. What do you think? I'm not, I'm not that bold. I still think R2-D2 should be on top okay. of them. But they are like a two-for-one deal. You're getting two FAs here. I mean, the lenticular cards came out first, but who really cares? Like this is That's a, this what is I mean. A, I know a lot of people do moments. care. A lot of people care. They talk. They tell me on Twitter. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Oh. Okay. Okay. Fine. Fine. A lot of people are saying, "Oh, don't worry. We'll remind those people what came first. But well, this is a this is a statue. It's different. This is a say. statue. But the, the no no shade on the lenticular cars. They're still great, and and someone could definitely say those were the first appearance of them, yeah. regardless of the tag. But yeah, and, obviously this is an A. Like I don't. Yeah. You know. I think I think it's there, but I do think it could flip. R2D2 once a little bit more Star Wars comes out and uh who knows how quickly. But for now, I think we agree. I think this is our this is our tier set. Let us know what you guys think. Um I'm going to leave this that? up. Can you expand that? I can make it bigger. Yeah, yeah. There we go. So, I'll leave this up here and uh we'll do our sign off here, but make sure you go check out the video that's going to pop up at the end of the screen here because uh, at the end of the video, because it's about our giveaway, we're gonna do the giveaway I decided on Monday. So you have up until Monday when we release the video or when we film the video, because we're gonna do a live uh, draw. So make sure you go to that giveaway video. It's a couple videos back. It's from Sunday or Monday, Monday maybe, right? Uh, anyway, uh, go back. Yeah, it's got a you're gonna see it on the screen, the Jurassic Park logo on it. Uh, but giveaway, we're giving away a Captain America number 117 rare comic. Uh, so go. Leave your, leave your VV username, what you're excited to see on the app, and make sure you're subscribed. You have to do all three of those in order to be entered. And not too many entries still. You have a very good chance. So make sure you go and check that out. Yeah, and I want to thank uh, Superstar YouTube Commenter again for your comment. Please 
Remember, if you give us a comment, we will respond. We want to hear from you. We want to know if you agree with us. How would you order this? Would you change things around differently than us? Do you agree maybe that, uh, let's say, the Avengers logo is a, is a C? Should it be higher or lower? Lady in the Tramp? What's it going to be? Maybe the Bart, even the Bart and, and Homer battle scene. Maybe because it's the first one, it should be higher. I don't know. So let us know below. Give us, uh, give us some uh, feedback on what you think about this list. And uh, we, we really do look forward to hearing from you guys soon. So join the Superstar fam. Click that subscribe button. And uh, we're going to see you on the next one. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.